Hello, good morning. Welcome to morning prayer. Today in the church's calendar, we remember Leonard Hermit from the 6th century and also William Temple, who was Archbishop of Canterbury and teacher of the faith and who died this day in the year 1944. Let us pray. O Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your faith. Your faithful servants bless you, they make known the glory of your kingdom. Blessed are you, sovereign God, ruler and judge of all. To you be praise and glory forever. In the darkness of this age that is passing away, may the light of your presence which the saints enjoy Surround our steps as we journey on. May we reflect your glory this day and so be made ready. And so be made ready to see your face in the heavenly city where night shall be no more. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Psalm number 146. Alleluia. Praise the Lord, O my soul. While I live, I will praise the Lord. As long as I have any being, I will sing praises to my God. Put not your trust in princes, nor in any human power, for there is no help in them. When their breath goes forth, they return to the earth. On that day, all their thoughts perish. Happy are those who have the God of Jacob for their help, whose hope is in the Lord their God, who made heaven and earth, the sea and all that is in them who keeps his promise forever. Who gives justice to those who suffer wrong and bread to those who hunger. The Lord loses those that are bound, looses those that are bound. The Lord opens the eyes of the blind. The Lord lifts up those who are bowed down. The Lord loves the righteous. The Lord watches over the stranger in the land. He upholds the orphan and widow, but the way of the wicked he turns upside down. The Lord shall reign forever, your God, O Zion, throughout all generations. Alleluia. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Our Old Testament reading today is taken from the book of the prophet Isaiah, chapter 1, beginning at verse 1. The vision of Isaiah, son of Amos, which he saw concerning Judah and Jerusalem, in the days of Uzziah, Jotham, Ahaz, Hezekiah, kings of Judah, hear, O heavens, and listen, O earth, for the Lord has spoken. I reared children and brought them up. They have rebelled against me. The ox knows its owner, and the donkey its master's crib. But Israel does not know. My people do not understand. Ah, sinful nation, laden with iniquity, offspring who do evil, children who deal corruptly, who have forsaken the Lord, who have despised the Holy One of Israel, you are utterly estranged. Why do you seek further beatings? Why do you continue to rebel? The whole head is sick and the whole heart faint. From the sole of the foot even to the head there is no soundness in it, but bruises and sores and bleeding wounds, they have not been drained or bound up or softened with oil. Your country lies desolate, your cities are burned with fire, in your very presence aliens devour your land. It is desolate as overthrown by foreigners. And daughter Zion is left like a boak in a vineyard, like a shelter in a cucumber field, like a besieged city. If the Lord of hosts had not left us a few survivors, we would have been like Sodom and become like Gomorrah. Hear the word of the Lord, you rulers of Sodom. 
Listen to the teaching of our God, you people of Gomorrah. What to me is the multitude of your sacrifices, says the Lord. I have had enough of burnt offerings of rams and the fat of fed, be fat fed beasts. I do not delight in the blood of bulls or of lambs or of goats. When you come to appear before me, who asks this from your hand? Trample my courts no more. Bringing offerings is futile. Incense is an abomination to me. New moon and Sabbath and calling of convocation. I cannot endure solemn assemblies with iniquity. Your new moons and your appointed festivals my soul hates. They have become a burden to me. I am weary of bearing them. When you stretch out your hands, I will hide my eyes from you. Even though you make many prayers, I will not listen. Your hands are full of blood. Wash yourselves. Make yourselves clean. Remove the evil from your doings. From before my eyes cease to do evil. Learn to do good. Seek justice. Rescue the oppressed. Defend the orphan. Plead for the widow. Come now, let us argue it out, says the Lord. Though your sins are like scarlet, they shall be like snow. Though they are red like crimson, they shall become like wool. If you are willing and obedient, you shall eat the good of the land. But if you refuse and rebel, you shall be devoured by the sword. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken. Our New Testament reading is from Matthew Chapter 1, beginning at verse 18. Now the birth of Jesus the Messiah took place in this way when his mother Mary had been engaged to Joseph. But before they lived together, she, found to, she was found to be with child from the Holy Spirit, her husband Joseph, being a righteous man and unwilling to expose her public disgrace, planned to dismiss her quietly. But just when he had resolved to do this, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary as your wife. For the child conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. She will bear a son, and you are to name him Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. All this took place to fulfil what had been spoken by the Lord through the prophet. Look, the virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and they shall name him Emmanuel, which means God is with us. When Joseph awoke from sleep, he did as the angel of the Lord commanded him. He took her as his wife, but had no marital relations with her until she had borne a son, and he named him Jesus. I will sing of, I will sing forever of your love, O Lord. My lips shall proclaim your faithfulness. The heavens bear witness to your wonders. I will sing forever of your love, O Lord. The assembly of your saints proclaims your truth. My lips shall proclaim your faithfulness. Righteousness and justice are foundations of your throne. Steadfast love and faithfulness go before you. I will sing forever of your love, O Lord. My lips shall proclaim your faithfulness. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, Charles, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Let us pray. Holy and loving God, we give thanks. For this new day and we give thanks for the worship that took place yesterday at St Dunstan's and also we give thanks for the installation of the new Canon Presenter at Canterbury Cathedral and we join in with many prayers and ask for God's blessing on her ministry ahead. Lord in your mercy, hear our prayer. As we continue to hold fast the memory of All Saints Day, uh, we give thanks for the lives of All Saints, those 
who currently live on earth and those for whom we ask intercession and who live as citizens of heaven. Lord, be with us and help to guide us towards increasing sense of goodness and holiness in our lives. Acknowledging that we are both sinners and saints. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for those who are fearful of the winter months, those who are struggling to find food and resources. We give thanks for the organisations in Canterbury to help to reach those most in need. We pray for social services, for rising sun, for catching lives, for homeless outreach teams and for all those who are seeking to respond to any need in front of them. Lord, open our eyes to the needs of others. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for peace in our world. We pray for Gaza, for Ukraine, for people who are fearful this day of bombs and violence, those who suffer through political turmoil. We pray for all sovereigns and political leaders that they may imitate the righteous rule of Christ. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for those known to us who are suffering in body, mind or spirit. We pray for those who mourn, comfort and heal all those who are seeking some sense of comfort and peace this day. We remember those who have recently died and those whose anniversary of death fall at this time, as well as those we love but see no longer. Rest eternal, grant unto them, O Lord, and let light perpetual shine upon them. May they rest in peace and rise in glory. Amen. Almighty and eternal God, you have kindled the flame of love into the hearts of saints. Grant to us the same faith and power of love, that as we rejoice in their triumphs, we may be sustained by their example and fellowship. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God now and forever. Amen. Uniting our prayers with the whole company of heaven, let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. On earth as it is in heaven, give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom the power and the glory for ever and ever amen may christ who has opened the kingdom of heaven bring us to reign with him in glory amen let us bless the lord thanks be to god thank you for joining me have a good day ahead bye bye